Hello everybody, welcome to a brand new series or mini series, don't know yet, on Ring of Pain. A wonderful dungeon crawling, not a deck builder. Things are shaped like cards, but it's not a deck builder, it is a dungeon crawler. And it is so polished, the game design is, is fantastic, immaculate. We've been playing it on Twitch, on our streams on Mondays, and with the Twitch integration, which is another thing entirely that is also fantastic. But I, I was thinking about what to put in my noon slot to and i just wanted to play this game i wanted to play it so bad uh we'll get in i will briefly explain things uh but quite frankly a lot of it's intuitive and the game will uh broadcast what will happen with each action as we get in so it's got some like gritty looking aesthetics to it you can tell that already but basically this is our dungeon we move left and right and that is mostly like that's the uh the controls you know <laughs> Uh, this is a chest. It'll have an item that'll go in one of these slots down here, giving us various stats and abilities. We can attack this. We could try to sneak past it, but if we try to sneak past it, it gets the chance to do an attack of opportunity. If you're familiar with, like, a Dungeons and Dragons or something, uh, basically, it gets a chance to do an attack to us anyway. So we can't quite just sneak around it. We will need to combat these enemies at least right now. There's all kinds of ways to break this game in fantastic and fun ways. Let's get started. So we get to pick an item here, a bonus for attack. So currently we could see we do, we have three attack down there. Uh, plus one attack, plus four when you're below 25% health though. And two speed, which is the stat that is used to determine whether or not you go first or they go first. Also, it adds a couple other stats like dodge and stealth. Uh, which are basically just what they sound. Stealth was the chance to uh, sneak past enemies on the side there. But So I'm, I'm kind of thinking a little bit of speed might be nice. So our speed is higher here. So basically we get to attack first. So you can see we'll attack here and we'll do three right there. You can also see down down here that we're going to take two. So it does. that's what I was saying. It does project what we will take for damage. So if you're ever confused, it will just kind of save the stuff there. But since we are faster, we will only take one hit because the second attack, we will obviously get the kill. I'm willing to take all this damage because you got to you gotta break a, a few eggs to make an omelet or something. Oh, boy. I, all right. Well, we're <laughs> it's a dangerous start, but boy, it's a dangerous game. <laughs> oh, my God. What a what a beginning. This is not uh, abnormal. This is not abnormal for this here. Okay, so we have the option between a couple different things. There's the eyeballs, which go in this kind of like jar slot. A lot of these have um, uses. So we gain one clarity, which is kind of your catch-all RNG stat, basically. You get extra souls per kill, which is basically your gold, your currency. Uh, you get extra healing when you drink a potion and extra curse resistance, which is basically, which is a really, really nice mechanic where there's cursed potions and cursed stat upgrades in the game where you basically you flip a coin if you have if you have no clarity whatsoever you flip a coin it's 50 50. you can also increase that stat clarity or curse resistance in order to improve the chance of that happening so you can reduce the rng in that uh boy i think we're i think we're in a rough spot i'm gonna go with this drain a creature speed negative three per hit we are not gonna attack this because we will just actually die just straight up. We can also inspect to get a lay of the land here. So this is the damage it would do to us right here. Physical damage can be blocked by your defense. Piercing damage will hit unless it's parried. You gain parry chance if your defense blocks all physical damage. So, to, you know, that, that's basically how that works right there. However, it also has a death effect where it explodes. That is why we would, that's why we would die. That's why we would die right there. I'm going to leave because that's just, that's another option. We don't have to kill everything. Uh, here's a, this. <laughs> here's this guy. So we could do this right here. We could pick this up. Deal one damage to a random creature when you're hit. Um, could go good, could go bad. We do also get one extra attack, four extra clarity, which is the, yeah, like I said, the catch-all RNG stat. Unfortunately, we also lose two max health. Which currently doesn't matter, since we're missing it anyways. Let's say fine. Why not? Let's live a little, right? Okay, so I'm glad we, uh... 
Yeah, they have one defense, so it's actually worked out perfectly that we got that one attack. So now we do not have to, we do not have to take damage there. All right. Uh, so drink the potion. So this guy, he is going to prepare to explode. Uh, we could sneak past him. There's a chance we get through without any any issue whatsoever. Uh, there's a chance that we will get hit for one damage, but we have a 25% chance, you can see right up there, we have a 25% chance to, uh, to block that. The question is whether or not I would rather go this way or that way. This guy is going to follow us. This guy will not. I think we go this way, because he's going to follow us, he's going to, yeah, attempt to explode. Four damage if we stay by him. No damage if we don't. Chain reaction. Okay, so we also can reroll the setup here for zero souls. Increasingly more and more expensive as we get further in the dungeon. 10% uh, extra stealth chance, one attack, two HP. Or two extra defense and 5% dodge chance. Maybe. 9% chance to dodge, straight up. Or we could go for more numbers, big number. Guaranteed stealth success for the next three attempts. This is a scroll. It is a single-use item. Oh my god, that the timing on that stat upgrade was really good. Because we can just one-shot these now. Th this is what being fast does for you. You get to go first, you don't have to ever take the damage. As long as you one-shot. Every six attacks, afflict freeze on the target, or plus four damage to frozen creatures. I'm going to go for this just because of the stats. One attack, two defense, and one speed. All just works well together there. Honestly, I don't remember what Overwhelm is. Reprieve is a really good, safe one to go for. This is just a standard exit. We'll go for this. Reprieve it is. Boy, oh boy. So this is basically just like a little bit of a safety area. All right, that did not work how I wanted. We took two 50-50s. We lost health from the potion. Uh, but then we did gain the stat from that other 50-50. I didn't even get to see... I didn't really process what it was. Was it our... Sp no. I don't know which stat went up. Here's the owl. <laughs> what are you? In knowing comes a little recognition, you might say. I'm a condition. So that's um, what's happening. We could kill... I mean, we can't. We could attack the owl. Uh, if we so choose. Six damage. So, so what's going on here? Yeah, we're, we're just good. I, this 10 speed is really helping us out. Move towards you. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. Well, I'm going to do this just to get the free dodge. That did not go well. We have this giant potion here that we will do. We might as well wait until the end of the floor here. Convert one health stat into defense. Okay. So now we uh, we have a bigger block chance there. Minus one armor, plus one speed, plus three health, plus one poison on attack. So poison is kind of like your standard standard poison. You, you hit him, it will do one poison. They'll take the poison next turn. Uh, you can stack up like five poison. Then it'd be five damage, four damage, three damage, two damage, one damage uh, from turn to turn. Which could be really beneficial. I'm, I'm going to go for it. Sure. Why not? So then there is the standard room and then there is an ambush. I typically like to go for the ambushes because they are forced fights against pretty small, simple enemies. And we are very strong for how early it is. Uh, and then you get a guaranteed... Usually decent item. Oh my god. Uh, slow burn. Reduce your piercing damage taken by one. Oh, reflect two damage on hit. We could reroll this. Minus three health. Excess defense has a chance to parry all piercing damage. I'm gonna do it. Let's get stupid. So that's the, uh, that's the damage that you take kind of like regardless. Ooh. Tasty beans. 
Gain one attack stat on dungeon exit. So this does cost 30 souls. Uh, some chests do take souls to open as well. The, the ones that are not the free basic common ones. We'll take that. On dungeon exit, we gain an attack. All right. So this guy over here is worth noting because he's going to try to move towards the exit. Oh, shoot. That guy's... That bomb is chasing me. All right, he's going to explode. We good? We're good. So that guy is a kind of like a loot hoarder kind of a guy. You have to kill him before he gets to the exit so you can get all of his goodies, his stats. This hardly feels worth fighting because that poison, it's, it's three, but it's not actually, you know? You know what? Let's, let's just do it. We parried, but we take that poison damage anyways. Back up to full. So, I mean, if we can leave this floor, you take no damage next turn. Interesting. If we can leave this floor at full health, it doesn't matter if we take this hit right here, you know? That's, it's, in a lot of games, you're like, you see that and you're like, oh, I do not want to do that. Oh, boy. I do not want to take the six damage, but if you leave the floor with full health, you did a good job. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how much damage you took if you're out with full HP. Uh, destroy equipped gem and gain stats. So this is a, a spell. We can use it every two combats. Basically, it turns this into stats so we can permanently generate stats out of whatever gems we get. However, there's this is the hand of dog. Four clarity, four HP, and a super nice extra ability that we will hopefully get use of here today so shuffle prism it just shuffles the whole layout i just <laughs> i don't do it very often because it's very scary that's it's a very scary scenario welcome to drug land uh what am i doing here your thoughts all a flutter run about in need of a rest a large amount always rhyme always scary uh, I gotta say, this game is... It, it, I'm just gonna... Wow. I'm not not sponsored. This game is fantastic. Uh, if you want to pick it up, I will have a link in the... Uh, ooh. In the description. You know what? Why are you dying? Oh, because this guy is rolling around and... Okay. Um... The ever-living hell, man. Okay, so hey, that guy died. And all these dropped. Oh, boy. What do I do? And he dropped all that stuff there. He's moving towards us. He can, uh, he can gobble us up, basically. So this guy shuffles between two different modes. One that does a lot of damage to you when you attack. And the normal mode. Oh, God. Caught between a rock and a hard place here. Kind of thinking we might want to use our barrier. We could also shuffle. Oh. Okay, we just got unlucky. He just shuffled right by us. Oh, my God. We crit. There, <laughs> I was not expecting that. We had a 10% We had a ten chance to crit. Holy moly. We have a lot of clarity. So, yeah, our RNG stat... Not good enough, apparently. Cure poison and heal three. Okay. Not good enough. Oh, what did we get? Was it was it attacked? Did it? Fla I think it flashed on the screen for a second. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. So we spent forty souls. Dark pants. <laughs> Dark pants. I'm liking our poison on our hit, though. Yes, I know we lose the defense and everything. We, uh, I'm, I'm good with it. Ensnare. Ensnare stops creatures' movement actions. I'm going to re-roll this set. I'm going to show off this here. Uh, gain one defense on dungeon exit. I'm going to go for that because you can see we actually used up all of our stat upgrades there. So that seems like a good idea. So unfortunately, you can't... We have to either use this 
or replace it. Um, I guess I would rather keep the ability to nullify a hit entirely, I suppose. Cure Poison Heal 3. So if we can find an enemy that we can kill in three turns here. Ooh. Uh, there's a stinking ranged enemy. Shooting pot shots at me. I'm coming around for you, you jerk. Ah, uh, and after all that, there's another one. We did that so that we could do this and then heal the poison that he was going to do. That's literally, that's what my thought process was. Convert one health into defense. Oh, boy. See, there's a 63% chance that this goes well, but that still means there's a 37% chance that we uh, we take that six damage right there, and we are in a very scary spot. Drain creatures defense by three per hit. Ranged creatures will not attack you. That sounds good. That sounds like it's going to be good for us. What is this? Shrine of Neglect. I don't recall. I also don't know that this is a good idea, but we are missing a couple slots here still. 10% stealth chance. One attack, two HP. Plus two HP gain from potions. I'm going to reroll. Maybe we can get something. Nope. Plus two poison on attack. Minus one attack, plus two poison on attack, plus three speed. I don't know. It sounds kind of fun. Oh, okay. We got a, oh, we got a health up. I am so concerned. I don't remember what the Shrine of Neglect is, but for this first episode here, I'm going to say, uh, let's just keep on, keep on going. Armor up. All right. Also, since we're probably at about like, I don't know, halfway-ish point, I want to mention that if you enjoy this video and you want this to be a series and not a mini-series, please hit the like button and comment down below and let me know that because those are the really number one ways to improve where this ranks in search results and recommendeds uh, and keep it as a, a more viable option to potentially do that with. So, is he going to... He is going to die. Oh, my God. See, that guy normally uh, is very tough to kill because he has a very, very high armor. Like a ludicrously high armor. Not an issue, I guess, you know, if you uh, have a crazy amount of poison, which does true damage, I suppose. We cannot be targeted by the ranged enemy because of our lovely mask. Get wrecked. And hey, look at this. Okay, so this reprieve, when we see this, we know that we can be a little bit more risky because that floor will always have some form of a, of a healing. Heal our poison up. I'm getting a lot of mileage out of that item. Okay, so the fully heal scroll, I find to be more versatile. Oh, it's sad. Oh, it's sad. Look at all the stuff we have to pass because we opened up dinky, dinkier chests. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's see what this other potion is. Okay, it's a good, it's just a good old-fashioned heal. No, there's no way we could, <laughs> there's no way we could kill him. I heard a voice. Careful who you listen to. Darkness waits to prey on you. Bye. We just got to do 84 damage in one turn, basically. Is that so hard? Creatures with less than 25% health are frozen on hit. Minus three attack. Plus three speed. Plus two health. This is weird. This is weird. Frozen is like, it's really good. It's a very solid stun, but I'm like, I'm not sure about this, man. Heal that poison off. Once again, it's super handy. It's actually nuts how useful it's been. All right, we're just like a rogue right now. 
So we got a clarity up. It flashed on the screen there. We could see that. Is there anyone else we can fight? There's no one else we can fight, but there's also, like, so many uh, potions on the ground we can be really, really crazy. And at this point, I think that we should probably just uh, save our souls. Because there's legendary chests, which are way better for us. Oh! <gasps> Yay! We get to show off the companion's room with the hand of dog. So normally... That happens. Not with the hand of dog. Not with the hand of dog. Oh, babe. It's like, it's a secret interaction. It, <laughs> you lose out on free souls, but also you don't you know, feel terrible? Okay. Twenty-five percent chance to block both of those. This guy's gonna move towards me. Okay. We need to get to the other side. Because these are gonna blow! That guy does twenty damage via explosion. Look at how much damage we take if we go to the left. Bye. I am actually, I, this run is really fun, actually. I, I truly do feel like a, like a rogue. Heal that poison. Unbelievably frequently coming in handy. You get back here. Oh, we crit him! I, I I'm such a rogue! Okay, there's potions on the ground, right? Yep. Send it. <laughs> I just wanted to risk it. That had a 62% chance of going well. It didn't. Oh, God. What is this place? What is this place? I haven't, I've never been here. Ravaged path. They once were ruled, I set them free, down the one, and then they fleed. Now what I hold belongs to me, take the rest and leave me be. You are worth 21 souls, Sam. What happens if I kill him? Deal two soul damage to a random creature after attack. So soul damage is, uh, shuffle the dungeon when an explosive creature dies. I don't know, man. Uh, so soul damage is true damage, which is pretty nice. But I, as I was saying, I kind of, I'm into what we've got. It's fun. Gain knockback. Sure. He asked me to leave him be. I mean, I guess I could. There's no reason why I have to kill him. Minus two speed, plus five RNG stat, uh, plus ten percent cursed resistance. I'm gonna say fine. It's better than an empty slot. I I, I would say so. Uh, gain one health on stat on dungeon exit. We are continually getting uh, replacements for that as soon as we run out of charges. So that's all, I'm cool with it. Uh, plus four attack when below 25% HP. Eh, yeah, I mean, is what we have. We could get three armor. We could get a speed up instead of a speed down. Plus one attack, speed, health. I'm going to reroll. Maybe we can get a replacement for plus four poison to the target. I, I really like mine. Attacks freeze if you have less than five items equipped. We definitely have more than five. All right. You know what? Okay. I've settled on it. Curse damage. Curse damage becomes soul gain instead. Wait, what? What? 
curse damage becomes soul gain instead. That seems amazing. So we would have taken damage, but we actually just gained health. I'm not going to... You know what? I'm going to be a good boy. I'm not going to kill you. I'm going to let you... You asked me to leave you be, so I will. Plus two to clarity? Sure. Give me that RNG. That sweet, sweet RNG. Uh... It's going to explode. So now we knock back when we hit as well. Which I think can work well with our poison. Here's a legendary chest. We can kick him back there. So he'll explode on him. Oh, baby. I'm liking it. 60% chance to parry. 21 damage. We would need 21 armor to parry that guy. Ain't happening, man. Ain't happening. I don't know if this guy's worth my effort. He's done. Not only is he not worth my effort, I think I cannot kill him. You, on the other hand. I think I can. That was grosser than I would have liked. Alright. Oh, we froze him! Normally he splits, but it's okay. I just wanted to get enough souls for this legendary. I would have been sad if we wouldn't have gotten that. Target both front both front cards on attack. Instead of knockback, we gain a speed, two attack damage, two clarity. This could be amazing. But the fact that we kick enemies back is actually kind of good for us. We have to take one of these things. Gain a third extra defense. Losing all that speed seems like a bad thing. Oh my god, you're, gonna, you're telling me that we have to either take one of these legendary items that are both fine for us? Because we don't have very much defense. Yeah, that gives us four defense. All right, just because I don't want to, I don't want to not have value, you know. I'll be sad if we uh, we just give that away for nothing. So we attack literally, we attack both front cards. Add death effect, explode for to, for four to target after attack. That would have been really good. I uh, <laughs> twenty five percent chance to add death effect, explode after attack. Could have possibly been good if we still had our other item, but we don't. What's our chance of sneaking past? 42%? That's pretty good. Do we chance it? I guess we did chance it. Do we do this? Do this and heal up to full? There's that scroll over there. I, I, I hate what I did. I hate it. I thought that maybe we would sneak past twice. I don't know why I thought that. I guess because it's 42%, so it feels a lot more likely than normal. How do I find you? Rest your eyes and mind fatiguing. Welcome, quiet, dark, intriguing. Bye. Instant kill. So... Uh, about that. <laughs> so that right there is 
one big reason why I like the uh, the exit. Oh no. Oh no! Stealthy! We still took one of the hits there. Treasure. I don't know what kind of treasure that is. What is this enemy? It's a snake. Oh no, it's a snake. I don't see any, like, I don't see any potions. This is grim. Because we could go over here, we could attack, and we could heal. But then if we move to the right, this guy is going to move to the right with us, and we're going to have to pass him. Or we could try and get here, which is another door. But we don't know who's here. If if it's another uh, one of these guys over here, these 30 health guys, we would just die. So with all that in mind, I think we disappointingly leave to go to a place called Overwhelm. Which... A large part of me thinks is going to be scary. <laughs> it looks like it's filled with mostly ranged ranged creatures, so... This is... That's hardly an issue. I don't mind that. Cool. Hey, we attacked both. Is that the first time that's actually come in handy? We should definitely keep this overwhelm in mind in the future when we have uh, that you can't be attacked by range. If this is always what it is, that's god tier. Absolutely god tier. Let's wait until the poison goes down because we outspeed him. Power glove. Intimidate creature on attack. 40% chance to intimidate. If you attack before them, it makes it so they don't attack back. However, it's only a 40% chance, which is... Wow. Which is good, but it's only 40. Saving my souls because I'm crossing my fingers like crazy for a legendary chest. Uh-oh. I made a mistake. Whatever I do, just do not pick up this potion. I made a mistake! Let's move this way, because we're going to be by a potion after all this. Alright, well, I mean, it's... It's hard to be too mad about all that. 25% chance... 60% chance to block. Okay. Good enough for me. There's the legendary. Healing missing health becomes light damage to all creatures. That takes up the what is currently an empty slot. It does not have charges, though. See, look at that. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. It's nice. Spend all souls. Gain a random stat up for every 30. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm into this build so much. This is really fun. Oh my gosh. Plus three poison the target creature, then double its poison. We have to. As much as the, the healing one has been really, really good to us, we have to. Oh. We have to. All right, so we have an exploding guy coming to us from the left, an angry guy coming to us from the right, the right, and another exploding guy coming to us from the right. Jabated. Okay. 
Okay. So he's dead. Somebody's moving. Oh, you're moving towards the exit. That's fine. That's fine by me. Cool. Kill it all. Oh my god. We're getting so much speed and clarity, which is making our... Uh, our look at that. 43% stealth chance is really good. Uh, pretty good crit there. Hell, even that's like... Doing it. Alright, so we doubled that to a pretty crazy degree. That guy has a uh, a pretty nasty like move where you have to get out of the way in time. And uh, you know, I just wanted him I just wanted him dead. Nice booty, mister. Unfortunately, we really need these souls because I bet you he has more than he definitely has more than nine. There we go. All right. Good. 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 Excess. Oh. Pole arm is hilariously broken. But. It's. I. We just had two runs on stream in a row that we built entirely around it and it's so broken because it is not just when you pass over creatures literally whenever you move left to right you do an attack to the person in in the next direction after that and as op and busted as it is if i clicked this button we would win the game if i click this button we would win the game this is fun as well and very strong as well but it still keeps within our, like, weird little assassin theme that we got going on. And that's kind of... I, I just want to lean into that instead. I don't know. Let's explode all the exploding enemies. There was a, there was a whopping total of one. Okay. Also, then we wouldn't be able to do the... Uh, crazy high amount of poison damage that we've been doing. Good parry. Alright. That guy's dead. So that does not count as excess killing damage. See, that's what I was... I was thinking that that would count. I now feel a little cheated. Let's see. Who's over here? Do we have another enemy? We don't have another enemy. But we do have potions on the floor. We have three poison no matter what. So we might as well just do it. Okie dokie. Extra clarity. We are one soul away. One. One. Rude. What happens when the light shines bright? World of beauty made anew for us to roam through, me and you. It's a good thing that I don't am not missing health because maybe I would also. Wow, we're in the realm where we could have like maybe actually fight him, which is hilarious. 60% chance to block that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Give me the legendary. Th these guys are all gonna explode in my face. Freeze creature when hit, whenever I get hit. Uh, extra four armor, two attack, lose two speed, gain two HP. 
Or I'm gonna or stay keep the two HP rather. Okay. Just because we had a way out of there. Same thing. Same thing. I love that we can... We have even more ways to freeze now. Uh, if we could have guarantee a freeze on that, that would have been fun, but we cannot do that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so... Oh, my God! This is busted. This is busted. I'm so glad we went with... Oh, went with what I went with. Okay. Glad we moved out of the way. That could have gone really bad. Legendary. Devolve a creature on attack. Transforms... Transforms turn one creature into another. I'll try it. Okay. I think we are, like, just about done here. Ambush. Vol ambush. Volatile has a lot of explodey boys. Um... Well, we have to, I guess. Okay, chain five light damage to two creatures behind the target. It's so hard to not do that. Healing items restore double the amount is good for us, too. I, I really, you know... Shoot. Ah. What have I done? Okay. Well, welcome to the uh, final-ish floor. Oh, we devolved them. Okay. I mean, that's still really good, that uh, the damage send back. Uh... I'm trying not to use my stuff because it's not the final floor. It is not the final floor. Spoilers. Sixty percent chance. Oh my god! Wow. We are so strong. We are so strong. This is hilarious. So we need to cleanse all these. Is it time? Well, it wouldn't make sense. If we didn't want it before, we shouldn't want it now. Uh, all right, but we're going to be moving on here. I guess we're leaving all that on the... Did I... Wait, did I leave at not full health? Did I not heal up? Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Now we get a pick. Do we ignite the tower, light empower, or douse the flame, let shadow rain? This is basically a, do I want to go through another five floors that are not quite as hard, or do I want to go for a uh, much harder one floor? It's it's pretty build dependent which one's harder, I think. Um, since we have the crazy scroll, uh, watch out. Things are about to get spooky. After all, you choose defiance. Why would you break our alliance? Betrayal's cost is far from free. Showing yourself. Now you'll see me. <laughs> We're fighting the owl now. The other path does not do this. Okay, so...
All right. I have concerns. Okay. So, first of all, this is... That's what I wanted to do. Run. I think I might have made a mistake. I don't know that I can... I don't think I can handle this, man. I think I made a mistake. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, well, at least that's going to blow up him, too. He's vulnerable. Attack him. Double the poison. Attack him. Attack him. No, I wanted to poison him again. Oh, boy. We need to get over there to the uh, freaking bat. Oh god. If we are standing there, we take 15 damage. If we're standing in both slots. Oh my god. We take 30. Ugh. I mean, he's killing everything for us, I guess, but. Can we get over to the right? We can. So far, so fine. One, two, two. Eh. God dang it! I'm tr <laughs> uh. Oh no, we can't really handle him very well anymore. Oh, we used to be able to handle you. He got too strong. Trying to think if it's worth doing to then pick up the potion. Next action, scream attack. He's going to chase us down. Like, this is a fact. So I can't really leave to the left. Twelve damage to everyone. Okay, we can get him attacked. Uh... I would consider that a mistake. 44% chance to slip by. That guy's going to be moving towards us to that spot. I want to get to the potion so bad. I really wanted the stealth. We're... Oh, we, we froze him. That's really helpful, but... Uh... Really helpful, but... We're pretty toast. I'm pretty... I'm pretty much... Screwed. I'm pretty much screwed. I was saving that for our boss, but like... That four poison, though. Four poison would be four, three, two, one. Four, so seven. <laughs> Ten, that's 10 damage. This sucks. 
Good stealth. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know what it looks like to try and pass. Okay, it's actually not that bad. Okay. I see the potion. I'm home free. I'm home free! We want to take some damage. Because then we explode the boys. Uh. Leave. We are... Okay-ish. Five, four... We just kill the spot. Oh, okay. So if we just kill the spot, we're fine. All right. Uh, uh. I see potion over here. Okay. Good enough for me. I need to get to that candle. Oh boy. I need to get to that candle. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Past cards get intimidated. Plus three speed. Might actually be good. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. Alright, um... Twelve damage. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, uh trying to take some damage. We're slowly making our way around this gold durned place. Okay. Uh, we took a hit there. Didn't like it. He's vulnerable. Run. Run! Run! Uh, 26? Scary? 26 is scary! He's spawning more! Okay. You're saying... There's a chance. Holy crap, we've done it! First episode, and we get a win. How about that? How about the maples? Oh boy. One episode, one win. Bleed! Pink, you freaking owl. I will mention that that is difficulty number one. <laughs> oh, that is difficulty number one. Super fun, super good run. What have I done? 
You have made the right decision. Walk the path with stable vision. Owl is gone, but cannot die. Waiting, watching. Keep inside. Twice difference, ring of pain. Oh boy. Hello, Simon. All right. Well, that is that. And that is going to do it for this first episode here today. As I said, whether or not it's a series or a mini series entirely depends on your support. So if you want it to stick around, comment down below. Hit the like button. We'll try out fun new deep builds as the thing keeps on getting updated. There's new updates like all the darn time. And they're all super, super good. The devs are very great, very nice. And all of the updates that I've seen have been really just absolutely spot on perfect and i'm so excited to check out more i'm glad i gave myself the excuse to play more of this game because it's very good it is very good so if you want to get it for yourself there's a link in the description ring of pain man it is very fun super solid thank you for watching though my name is retromation if you enjoyed the video here today obviously the things i said with the like in the comment but I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. If you would help me out with that, if you are a new watcher or just a returning watcher who's not yet hit the subscribe button, if you want to help out with that goal, that would be fantastic. Uh, I put out videos on roguelikes and more every single day. So if this is the kind of thing that you are into, I think that I might be worth a subscribe for you because I put out these videos every day, multiple videos on the hot, cool, new roguelikes that I truly think are worth your time and polished every single day I upload. Check it out. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.